everybody. Hey, I wanted to hop on here really quick and thank you all for the fantastic response that you gave to the video I posted on Monday. Um, it's kind of my goal to perhaps share some videos with you and your family as you're kind of semi-quarantined or self-quarantined in your home, um, just to help you pass some time and use some creative energy and uh, create together. So I am planning on continuing doing videos every couple days. Um, and I have a new video for you today. Uh, and we're gonna be doing 3D hands, which is a really fun project. I will let you know that this project is probably um, for upper, upper elementary, middle school to high school. Uh, it's a little challenging. It can be done with um, some supervision and some guidance. Um, probably most elementary age kids could do it as long as moms and dads and older siblings were kind of helping out with uh, laying down the foundation for it. That said, it's kind of a two-part video because I do plan on doing um, something similar in my next video that's aimed more at elementary to preschool age. Still doing some 3D art, but um, doing a little simpler subject that's going to help them to see how the process works. So for materials today, all you're going to need are um, some markers, including a black Sharpie or a black permanent marker. That's a must. Uh, and you'll need paper and you'll need a pencil and you need your hand. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do the project with your family, I would love it if you would post it on my Facebook page. Um, that's Artwork by Julia Coolish. Love to see all of the many people who left such really fantastic comments and great pictures of them and their families as they did the last project together. It just really made me so happy. So thank you guys and enjoy. Okay, you guys, for today's project, um, we're gonna make a 3D hand. You may have seen this um, in lots of different places. Pinterest has uh, pictures of it on there. It's just a fun project that looks complicated, but with a few little tips, I think you can um, do this fairly easy, easily. It just takes a little getting used to. So you'll need some paper a pencil and some bright colored markers. Um, it doesn't matter what color the markers are. You can use crayons also. Markers just seem to be a little brighter. And then um, in amongst those, you will need some kind of a, of a Sharpie or a permanent marker that is black. So that, that's pretty important. So you're gonna lay your hand down on your paper. Get my ring out of the way here. And you do want to make sure that your fingers are spread apart, but you don't want them like where they're going off too wide. So kind of try to keep them kind of straight with a little bit of a gap and try to move your thumb more at an angle as opposed to straight down. Okay, so down like this, I'm going to come down here, draw my wrist, do the outline of my hand. which kids love to do. It doesn't matter how many times they do it. There's something about outlining the hand that is just fun. And there are so many things you could do with that. So I had a little gap here. There we go. Okay, so there is a basic outline of my hand. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm going to try to draw horizontal lines across. And I'm gonna start very wide at the beginning. I'm not gonna try to get the lines too close together. Um, I'm going to draw them across and every time my line bumps into my hand or my fingers, I'm going to need to bring it up into kind of what's like a little hump line so it's not going to be straight across. You don't want to just go straight across, be fun, it'll look nice, but it's not going to be 3D. So I like to start like about halfway up the fingers and I'm going to tilt my thing here a little bit. Try to get it as straight as you can and then stop and lift up your pencil as soon as you get to your finger so that you don't keep going thinking you're drawing a hump line when really you're not. There's something about stopping that makes it official. So go to the finger then and draw a nice little hump. Come back down as equal as you can to where that first horizontal line was and then make another horizontal line. Again, kind of check in. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it as straight as you can. I stop here, lift up my pencil, do another little hump. And when you bring that hump back down, make sure you're tucking it in there pretty tight so that we end up starting wherever we left off on those horizontal lines. All right, here's a little tiny line in here. Pick up my pencil, a nice hump to make sure that you can see that something's there. Stop, draw it across, kind of checking to see if I'm pretty, pretty close at least to being horizontal. Another hump, 
tucking it in there nice and tight and then straight across. Okay, so my horizontal line might have a little bit of a slant. That's not a big, big deal at all. You just need to make sure it's basically fairly straight. So there's my first line. Now I'm gonna have a big gap between my first line and my next line because I don't wanna fill in the little, you can kinda of get lost in little lines. Our goal is to get lots and lots of lines up and down here, but we don't wanna start off that way. So I'll move up here a little bit. I think I'm gonna to try to go so that I end up putting a hump right here on the pinky. So I'm gonna to try to maybe right, right there. So I'm gonna come across, horizontal line, and then my hump is gonna be at the end of that, and straight across. And there's a reason for that you'll kind of see as we move along here. So again, nice hump, tuck it in there, Come try to come out about where your other horizontal lines were. And even looking at this, I don't know if you can see it from the camera or not, but even looking at this, it almost looks like there's like this ribbon laying across my hands there, okay? So now I'm gonna jump up all the way. I'm gonna try to get one that's gonna make it come right here at the top of this finger. So I might have it hit right here. So I'm gonna draw a little dot there to remind me that's kind of where I'm at my horizontal line to go. Come out this way. Horizontal line over, hump and do draw the hump in. I kind of made it wide, don't know why I did that. Just got a little crazy there for a moment. There we go. Horizontal line across again, another hump, and straight across. Now eventually, I'm gonna to need to hit one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my line in here now. It's gonna to have to hit right about here. And I'll just draw little dots kind of across on either side so it shows me where my horizontal line should start. Okay, let's see how close we get. So I'm gonna go all the way across. Oops, I'm not quite on there, that's okay. Up, straight across, another hump, straight across, perfect. Tip, tip of my finger. And finally, I have one more right here. So I'm gonna want it to hit right about there, which is gonna be a little bit of a tight line, but that's okay. Oh, got a little tight, that's okay. My finger's gonna end up being a little longer than it was, just to make it work. Okay, now I'll move down this way and then I'll show you a couple down here and then um, I will start to do speed up the camera so you can see it quickly when I fill it in. So I'm gonna fill one in here. Now I don't have all the little bumps here, I just have one big bump. But I wanna make sure that you actually see that bump, so I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get a nice curve on that. And then straight across. Okay, the thumb can get a little tricky and we might just kind of have to fudge a little bit as we go around the thumb. So I'm gonna start right here and get a line kind of going across here. Nice hump. And I wanna make sure that I pull that back and tuck it in low right here so that my line goes across. Otherwise you might miss that. And then on this one, Get a nice little line here, and it's okay for this to go down lower. That's not a big deal. Okay, so I know that line isn't exactly a straight line horizontally. We're not gonna worry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my thumb just because the thumb is a little trickier. Nice hump, tuck it in, and come out. So notice I really tucked that one in. Around that thumb, make sure you're tucking it in, okay? And then I do, I would really like to get one that's gonna go over the edge because I do wanna see a little bit of um, a hump line form here. So the only way I can get it in is right here. So I'm just gonna go across here. It's gonna be skinny, that's okay. That's how they're all gonna look in the end anyway. Nice hump that follows the same pattern. Tuck it in, bring it across over the edge and down, okay? And I'm gonna continue filling these in until they are all um, completed. I feel like that line didn't quite get tucked in as much as I'd like. At any time, just stop and kind of pause and look at your lines and make sure they're looking, looking right and make any adjustments that you need to make. So I'm gonna stop the camera and speed it up a little bit and finish it up and then we'll come back and talk about what to do after that.
Okay, you guys, now that I have all of my lines in there and you notice that I had to erase a lot, it's okay. Um, There's lots of corrections I had to make. One, because those of you who know me well know I don't draw straight lines very well. It just is one of those things I'm not very good at it. Um, so it's not a problem to erase all the time and to readjust things. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill them in with color and I will also speed this up so you can see what I'm gonna do. But what I wanna encourage you on is um, you can do it several ways. You can kind of have a pattern, so maybe choose four or five colors and just keep repeating that same pattern all the way down. You can do it in um, colors that are very similar. For instance, you could do all warm colors, yellow, oranges, reds, um, thing, pinks, things like that. Or you could do all cool colors, greens, blues, um, some purples, um, things like that. It's really up to you how you wanna do it. I like to have like as much color as I possibly can. And I don't know, know about you, but it's kind of a gray day here. And uh, we're all going through a lot with the kind of semi-quarantine we're under. And so let's make it colorful. So I'm gonna use a lot of different colors and I'm probably not gonna worry about pattern too much. Um, I have a lot of lines to color in and I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna have fun with it and I'm gonna see how it turns out. So when I first go through it, I will color it in with the colors and then I will go back in with black lines in between the colors and that's what really brings out the 3D look. So enjoy the process and kind of follow along and watch and then I'm excited to have you guys take it on yourselves. Okay, you guys, well, that is the completed picture. So don't let this overwhelm you. Um, this definitely is a class for um, older kids, probably upper elementary um, and middle school and high school. Upper elementary might feel a little overwhelmed. You don't have to do quite as many lines as I did, but the more lines you do, um, it tends to be the more realistic that it looks. So um, play around with it. I am going to be following this up with a simpler version of this for elementary and younger that I think will be helpful. So um, look for that video. It should be coming out here soon and it's a fun one too. But give this one a try. Help of mom and dad. You never know what kids can do. They seem to rise to the level of our expectations. So I wish you all well. I hope everyone is healthy where you are at and I hope you're enjoying your time with your family. Again, post pictures of it on my Facebook page, if you will, if you do this project. It's Julia Coolish, um, artwork by Julia Coolish. Thanks, you guys. Have a good day.